Is meditation good for weight loss? A question that I get asked quite often. If stressful eating or emotional eating is your reason for why you are not able to shed those extra kilos, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Dr. Arun Deer. I'm a gastrointestinal and a weight loss surgeon, and I'm also a yoga and a meditation teacher. What this has allowed me to do is to have a better understanding of how our body and our minds are so intimately interlinked. See, if you want to have a healthy body, you cannot ignore the mind. A healthy body exists in a healthy mind. And that is the premise of this video, which is where the practice of a mindfulness-based activity, as we call it in scientific terms, but let's call it meditation, which is not a religious practice. It is not a practice that allows a person to join a cult, not at all. It is a practice that anybody can do in their own sacred space. Let's deconstruct the practice of meditation and let's see what the science has to offer about this. It is no news that our lives are becoming more and more hectic and jam-packed with activities which are supposedly very very important for all of us. But here is the kicker, we are being bombarded with notifications upon notifications, whether it's coming from your social media feeds or it's coming from your emails or text messages. There is a truckload of information that is coming into our nervous systems, our brains, which is struggling to handle the amount of data that we are having to process. And that is where we start to indulge in activities like doing things on the go, having food on the go, also multitasking. And we say that women are the best or women are so good at multitasking, but multitasking comes at its own price. If you have spread yourself so thin over multiple activities, you can never excel in anything in individually. You know? So that's where the challenge of multitasking comes and it actually builds a lot of stress for your system. But the last and the most important thing is the time that one wastes in engaging in mindless activities such as going through your TikTok feed, going through your social media, uh, you know, uh, feeds and videos and all of that. And all of these behaviors contribute to what I talk about is called the mindless eating. And the mindless eating spectrum, let me give you just two key examples that I hear from my patients all the time, such that you can relate to this if this is you. On one spectrum, it is, I hear stories that people go after their dinner, after kids have gone to bed, or after uh, you know everybody else is quiet and they are in their bedrooms. Well, individuals tend to watch TV and they sneak into the pantry and they get foods and they sit in front of a screen, generally a television screen, and consume those unhealthy foods. So that's one aspect of it. And the other aspect is when an individual is on an emotional low point, they may be feeling upset, angry, or they may be just feeling depressed about things. And that is when they go into a phase of feeding the emotions. When you start feeding your feelings with food, you are really setting yourself up for an epic failure. And that is the premise of this whole video, this information that I'm providing, because this sets up a perpetual circle. It's like a vicious cycle where you are going into episodes of mindless eating that leaves the individual with guilt, shame, and that ultimately leads to what is called as self-neglect. When you neglect yourself, you just feel that you are not worthy of receiving what we call as optimal health and well-being. And that is where the concept of mindful eating comes in. Mindful eating is a form of meditation in itself. Mindful eating means that you are actually making an effort to repair your relationship with food. 
whether you are enjoying the taste or the textures or the the i should say the smell of food but the most important thing is you are present when you are engaging with food see whoever is important in your life you will give them 100% of your attention now if food is important uh, let's give the example of if a relationship is important for you you will be 100% present with them imagine the time when a boy dates a girl 100% present in the moment you know the same thing should come when you are engaging in eating food because whatever you are consuming is becoming a part of you and you want to make sure that you consume that something that is high quality that builds you rather than destroys you so that is where i recommend considering the practice of meditation studies after studies are reiterating and this particular study that i'm showing you on the slide is a meta analysis a meta analysis means that it is a study that has been done by collecting many other similar studies and they actually showed that there is a significant improvement in weight loss when it was combined with mindfulness based interventions mbis which means mindfulness based activities when an individual is consuming food more importantly meditation helps you with these three key things number 1 it helps you manage your stress better it's not possible for us to live stress free lives but we can certainly manage our stress better number 2 it allows you to get better quality sleep i have always said that the essence of weight management is sleep management if your sleep is disrupted you will unconsciously or subconsciously make poor choices and the last and the most important benefit of meditation is that it allows you to improve your focus in a world where we have got so many distractions if you're able to focus on one thing at a time when you're consuming food you are focusing just over there when you are at work you are working when you're playing you are just playing and that is called focus and that is what builds with meditation so i hope you found this video useful if you did do take some practices and do share with me what is the meditative practice that you have incorporated it doesn't mean that you have to uh, you know concentrate on your belly button and sit in a lotus position not at all even if you just sit quietly in a room close your eyes and just focus on your breath that is a beautiful place to start with you could even engage in things like gardening or painting because those activities will allow you to bring you into the present moment so i hope you got some value out of this video please do share with me in the comments on any feedback or what your experience has been with meditation i love to read your comments take care and stay safe